Welcome to Crash Magic. In this video we've got a card trick called The Game Show and I hope you enjoy the performance. So there was a game show on when I was a kid a long time ago and as a family we, we would all every weekend sit down and watch it. Um, I've been trying to think of the name of the game show, I've been trying to Google it as well, I can't for the life of me remember the name. Um, but I remember the, the host, the host was fantastic, he was so funny and charismatic. Uh, his name was, um, oh, I'm useless with names, I can't remember his name, hopefully it'll come to me as we as we carry on. But yeah, every weekend we would sit down and watch this game show that was sort of based on cards, and uh, we'd all sit down and watch it, I know it was uh, on a Saturday, I think, or Saturday or Sunday, weekend day anyway, and uh, it was family viewing, so we could all sit and watch it, I think it was tea time, or maybe a bit later than that. I can't remember all the details, I wish I could. But it was a card based game and it was a really simple premise as well. You'd have three contestants and if any of the contestants got the Ace of Spades in the game show then that was it, they, they won the grand prize. So I guess the cards were all shuffled before the uh, show started. Uh, actually, no actually they had a machine, that's right they had one of these um, you know, like a lottery machine where they would put the cards in and the machine would spin all the cards around and then it would mangle all the cards together like this to mix them up so that they were they were random basically. And then as I say, you'd have three three contestants and they would get three cards each. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards they would take from the, the shuffled cards. And uh, the game show host, oh, I wish I could remember his name, he would like talk to all the contestants to start with and ask them their names and what jobs they did and make some jokes and things like that. Oh, I wish I could remember his name. Actually, what if you could help me remember his name? Uh, I've got three cards here with names on. And if you were here, you could choose any of these three cards. But as you're not, we'll use the dice. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we roll the dice, we have a four, one, two, three, four. So that's this card here. So let's move these two out of the way. And you have chosen the name Joe. It was, his name was Joe. It was Joe, um, Joe, what was his surname? Oh, I can't remember his surname. Maybe you could help me out with that as well. I can't believe it. Yeah, his name was Joe, uh, J-O-E, Joe. So his surname, let's put these cards down here. And again, if you would hear, you were here you could choose any of these three cards but again we'll do one two three four five and six and you have chosen six so that's this card here so let's move these ones out of the way and you have chosen frank it was joe frank it was that was his name i can't believe you've helped me remember his name joe frank f r a n k yeah, so we would all sit down and watch this uh, program. I can't remember if we'd be like eaten at tea or if we'd finished at tea by the time the um, program came on. Actually, I've got some more cards here with times on, different times. So maybe you can help me remember what time the show was on as well. We're a bit short of room here, but if we make that one, two on the dice, three, and four, five, six on the dice, but again, you could have absolutely free choice of any of these cards. Uh, one, two, three, so that is that card here. And let's see what time you have chosen. Five o'clock. I think it was, you know, I think it was five o'clock because I'm pretty sure we'd all be sitting down with our, with our meals on our, on our laps, watching the program together, five o'clock. Yeah, Joe Frank, five o'clock. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And of course, all of these cards, you have free choice of any of these cards. All these cards are different, different hours, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, four o'clock. And the names are all different as well. We've got a Graham, a James, a Michael, all different names. I can't believe, yeah, Joe Frank, five o'clock, you're right. So, what would then happen is they would deal uh, three cards to each of the three contestants. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's move that out of the way. One, two, three. And as I say, it was a really simple game, but because of Joe's personality, 
it made it so good he would really uh, build the suspense at this point. So he'd ask the first contestant to turn their cards over, remembering that they were looking for the Ace of Spades. Now, of course, most weeks, once the cards had been shuffled most weeks, the Ace of Spades would still be in the pack, so none of the contestants would win. But obviously the hope was, the contestants were hoping that they would win. So Joe would get the first contestant to turn over his cards one at a time, building that suspense. Ooh, Ace of Hearts, close. Three of Spades, he's got the Ace, he's got the Spades, but not both together. And two of Spades, so Joe would thank that first contestant, say sorry he hadn't won, hope he'd had a nice day, and that would be the end of contestant one. So then again, building the tension all the time, he'd ask Spectator 2 to turn their cards, so... First card, four of hearts, king of diamonds, and then just as they were about to turn their final card, Joe would say, just hold it there, we're going for an ad break. Again, building, building all the time. Back from the ad break, he'd get contestant two to turn their card, all oh, eight of spades. Thank contestant two, and on to contestant three. So contestant three, turn your first card, two of hearts, second card, nine of clubs and as i say most weeks the ace of spades would still be left in the pack so nobody would win but obviously quite often either contestant one or contestant two or contestant three would be lucky they'd get the ace of spades and they would win the grand prize but of course the best weeks and the weeks that we always used to really look forward to was those just a couple of times where it happened where on the turn of the final card contestant three had the ace of spades and won the grand prize. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked this one, and if you did, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, leave them down below, and see you soon.